Hello, hi, nine viewers. In this particular episode, I'm going to discuss with you regarding the diagnosis and treatment of hyperthyroidism. When I say about diagnosis, the various tools that we use in the diagnosis of hyperthyroidism are blood tests. We do TSH, free T4, free T3. The TSH is decreased. The free T4, free T3 are elevated. Coming to the next line of diagnostic tool, we use a blood test called TSH receptor antibodies to tease out if the hyperthyroidism is due to a condition called Graves' disease. In Graves' disease, TSH receptor antibodies are elevated usually. Then the next line of diagnostic tool is a test called technetium thyroid uptake scan or radioidin uptake scan which helps us differentiate the various causes of this hyperthyroidism. Then coming to the treatment per se, the commonest treatment and the first line of treatment is that we use medications to control the thyroid hormone levels such as carbamazole or propyl thiouracil. Also, we use beta blockers if there are no contraindications such as asthma in order to control the heart rate and the symptoms of these individuals with hyperthyroidism. Then coming to the other treatments that are available, the definitive treatments that are available are radioidin treatment and also thyroid surgery. Usually we don't go for thyroid surgery unless it is really necessary and if the person is really suffering from a really big goiter in the neck or if the medications and the radioidin are contraindicated due to other reasons. Coming to radioidin treatment, radioidin treatment is one of the standard treatments and it is one of the definitive treatments for this condition called hyperthyroidism. It is instituted in the form of a tablet or a pill and it is reasonably straightforward, not that expensive. One of the downsides with radiodin treatment is that it can worsen the eye disease of people who have hyperthyroidism due to a condition called Graves' disease. So this has to be taken into consideration before administering radioidin treatment. We'll discuss more about radioidin treatment and similar other measures that have to be followed in people who have radioidin treatment in another episode. If you want to learn more about thyroid problems, you can watch our A to Z thyroid series in hi9.in. Thank you very much.